so the way this project started, um, uh, aside from me always being a Segovia fan growing up with uh, all of Segovia's students being my heroes, you know, Christopher Parkening, John Williams, Segovia himself, of course. Um, uh, I kind of grew up in that repertoire and that style of playing. The fact that Segovia had played certain guitars through his lifetime, the Hausers, Flaytas, Ramirez's, was no big secret to me. I had always heard about that. And in fact, uh, the first good guitar my parents bought me was an old Ramirez, so I played that for a long time, even through uh, my first year in college. The way uh, I was introduced to this particular guitar was uh, I was over at, uh, I was invited over to Guitar Salon uh, to have some fun and try out this new collection that they just bought from Russell Cleveland, who is a renowned philanthropist and uh, just overall guitar lover and and uh, decided it was time for him to part with many of his guitars. So they ended up at GSI. And so I was over here one night having fun playing a lot of them. When it was time to pack up, uh, we spent a couple, few hours. And uh, so we were packing up. And my friend Kai, who, had, who was here, actually had, had recorded uh, audio for some of them. I was just sitting around doing nothing. He said, by the way, there's one guitar you haven't tried. And that's this Ramirez. It's, uh, it was Segovia's Ramirez, 1969, I think, he said. And he said, would you like to try it? I, I thought, well, I'm pretty tired. I don't know. And I wasn't going to bother. And I said, OK, you know, let me try it. So he brought it out and gave it to me. And while he was packing up, I was in the corner on my own playing this guitar. And, and um, it was more than love at first sight. I was thinking, you know, I, I always, I'd always known that a a really great Ramirez was hard to beat. And I played a lot of really great Ramirez's and I played some that were not so great. But I'm sitting there secretly thinking, this could be my guitar for life. This could be my one guitar forever. And I'm thinking, how can I play this guitar a lot more? Uh, you know, and even maybe acquire it myself. So the first thing I blurted out, he goes, how do you like it? And you go, I just say, I want to record with this. I want to do a project. And the first project I thought of for Guitar Co-op, uh, since we were thinking about the second CD anyway, what I would do, I thought, you know, let's, I'll record some Segovia repertoire on this guitar. Uh, it's kind of something I always wanted to do anyway. Because again, I grew up with this repertoire. And uh, so I proposed that to Guitar Co-op. And then I thought, and they were okay with it, but then I thought something more unique would be to see how much music there was uh, that Segovia originally composed. Um, I didn't think there was that much, but it turned out when I really started looking into it, there'd be way more than enough for a recording. So I started looking into it and got some repertoire together. And although it, it was not the complete works of Segovia, uh, we got, we, you know, I was able to compile enough original Segovia compositions where it made a really nice CD. They're mostly short pieces. I think the longest piece is six minutes. But anyway, they were, Guitar Co-op was great with that. They said, yeah, let's do it. And recorded on this guitar. And we actually recorded it here in LA so the guitar wouldn't have to travel too far. And, uh, uh, Kai, the, Kai Narezzo, the engineer, got a great, great sound. We recorded it on the USC campus at Camillary Hall. Uh, the sound of which I know really well because uh, I've heard a lot of concerts there. So that was the beginning of the project and uh, it was so much fun to do, to, to carry this through. <laughs> 